my stuff. So don't forget to check out my website. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, this is KL Tech Nerd bringing you another episode of my uh, Prison Architect series, uh, Let's Build a Prison. So where we left off is we just built a infirmary. Right now we're getting down all the other nice little offices that we need to have and everything. So let's get started. Um, so first thing of all that I need to do is let's go do this. And I should be able to... Oh, come on, don't freeze on me. Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. Let's just put this right there to get this done. I don't even know what I'm going to be using with this space, though. It's such a weird, strange size. I'm sure out with the kennel and everything else, though, I could probably find out what to build with it. So, let's go do this. And actually, how big do offices need to be? Objectives. caps lock on. So now, okay, everything's running smoothly. The one dude in protective services is not mixing with the other guys. That's very important. Because we want to try to keep him from ending up like the snitch from last episode. That was very, very bad. I did not like that. So right now we have our offices which are 4x4, four four. so actually I should be able to put like a long hallway here too, maybe. So that actually might work out. I might do that. Let me see here. Rooms, offices. One, two, three, four. Huh? Dang it, I'm one short. So I would need to at least expand out this way. Huh. Might do that, because that actually would be kind of cool. Because I really wanted to just have all my offices be like in this one area. I'll do it that way just, just in case I need the extra foundation. And what is it with you guys? I'm glad these guys are getting caught before they can hurt anyone, but it's like... Dang, this thing's going off all the time. Like, really? Did you not know that you could get... Oh, cell phone. Okay. I don't even know why that's a crime. Everybody has a cell phone now. Why not the prisoners? Oh, really? Gosh, the ex-cop had a knife on him. That's scary. Well, I guess he gets to go to solitary, too. And... I wish this... What are they doing? Go... No, you should not be able to... Family members should not be able to go out this direction. Dude, there's a door right there. Come on. Don't bug the workmen trying to get out. It's just so nasty. And then you know what? I might make this a different room. Or something. I don't know. For right now, though, I might have just this area. Just, you know, this area. Yeah, maybe I'll give somebody a bigger office than they deserve.
just because then that way later on if I want to expand it or move it or something I can like you know move the staff room down here because you know this isn't out of the way enough for people to go to why not make them go all the way down here okay now Let's go over here. So this is 4x4. Four four. This is 4x4. Four four. How did I do that? I could have actually made... I hate when I do that. Okay, whatever. I'm a little wondering now, though, if I shouldn't go down here. Then again, the two, I have a feeling that somewhere it's going to start really getting weird. I already think I know what I'm going to do with that space, though. Because reasons. Give the psychiatrist the empty room. Let him figure out what should go there. <laughs> hey, this is your office, buddy. You don't require an office. You're in an office. It just is not to your liking. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Put something in there. Maybe use this as storage. So, let's see here now. Share. Better be to your liking. Uh, There we go. Why, oh, why did I not know what that was? Okay, so. Oh, yes, you must have a filing cabinet. I gotta give you the one that the, was in the jail cell. Enjoy. Okay, two prisoners are up for parole now. Yay on them. Okay. Good job, buddies. Hope you get your parole thingy. So, take this part out right here. Okay, so, let me see here. This guy has his own little office. Okay, this guy has his own little office now. I shouldn't, but I'm going to give him a light. Let me see here. We have guards, dog handlers, lawyers, workmen, doctors. Oh wow, so we don't even need this area. Okay. I'll probably put the dog handling or the arm, or, um, guard station there or just something. Because that's going to need to go somewhere anyway. And why not put it down here? Sorry if anybody heard me. Yawning into the mic. 
so I'll put you guys right here. I don't know though. Oh, did I pause you? Oopsie. You look so sad. Really, you're gonna... What? See, that's why I don't trust you, necessarily. You're scaring me. Oh, duty. Oh, duty. Are you serious? I put this thing here, and now there's this open space where the guys can just run out at any time, and you guys are over here playing with bricks. That's... You know, could I please just get somebody here to finish this area, please? So it... Before one of these guys goes and decides to come home early. Hey, I was up for parole anyway. Come on, please, please. Please. Come on. There we go. Just in time, too. Just in time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. That makes me a happy person. Okay. I get it. Now, if I'm going to do this, I'm thinking... Staff room. Pearl. Okay, five by five. Oh, seriously? It's one too short. Staff door on here, please. Now, all you guys are messing around up here instead of somebody putting me. Okay, there we go. Here's our hero. So now we go here. Oh yes, please, open up this door. Escort him, good. Once this shuts, we can... We know that this area is secure. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we can start having this guy be the 5x5 uh, five five rooms that we need. And just to make sure, we, we, it looks like we're missing another prisoner. Did we just never get one back after the... Don't tell me that the... Okay, he's eating. He's safe. Okay. Ugh. So, let's go get rid of the wall. And then this will be our parole area. And since two prisoners are up for parole, I'm thinking let's put two parole areas, and then that way, too, we can do two dudes at the same time. Yeah, it should be good. We'll have two parole areas. We can get two guys out of here at once.
and then get these guys out of here and it's going to be awesome. So let me see here. I am having such trouble trying to find that room. Why? I'll make this a little bigger. Or not. I don't know. And you see here. Should make it a complete room, so we should be good, and then this will be, you know, it's going to be awkwardly shaped rooms, we might as well make them even. And once we get the wall done, we can call this good, and then I can put the little dividing wall on here. And have two parole rooms, which is going to be good. I apologize in advance, I have my mic right next to my keyboard, so I hope that nobody heard me, but, um, I was just typing something to a friend in chat. Hi, Dan Lover, 10. And, okay, we just need a visitor's table, so then it's going to be good. Now I'm going to have trouble finding the visitor's table. Okay. Now where can you go? And there it is. Okay, cool. So let's put you right here. And then you right here. And then we should be good to go. Those two guys who are on parole can... Uh, get off of it and uh, be done. And actually, what the heck? This is way too much. I do not think it would be good a good idea if I did all available. I'll get lots of money, sure, but there's going to be some fights breaking out. And I know it. Because, man, that would be freaky. And let me see here, what was I going to do with this room? Actually, before I do anything, I should probably do this. And, um... Unfortunately, I'm also going to be cut, uh, cutting this a little short, because I need to go pick up my little brother from school. So, I'm probably going to be ending this in a few minutes. But uh, I plan on doing more uh, Prison Architect very, very soon. And... Um 
Actually, other than me maybe trying to figure out uh, getting this room set up to be something, I pretty much think this is a good place to end it. So after I'm done with a couple more things, I'm thinking let's end this. I hope that we didn't have one escape and I didn't recognize it. Because that would be such a bummer. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any holes on the outside where anybody could have escaped from, so I think we're good. Actually, you know what? Let's end this by doing a shakedown. So, I'm going to do Shift-Tab to close the Steam thing on it. Oh, come on. Get down there. Okay, good. And then let's do a shakedown. And get these guys, uh, make sure that everything's clean. Oh, good gosh, we have not searched anything, and we've already found knives, forks, and... Oh, my goodness, that's bad. Okay, so the shakedown is on the way. And we have... To see what this thing... Oh, goodness, clubs. Okay, knives, forks, spoons, and three cell phones. I Do I even care if they have cell phones? I mean, it's a little hurtful because I have pay phones over here, but... I guess the cell phones might be cheaper or nicer. I don't know. Ugh... <sighs> I thought I was helping them. And you know what? This is taking a long time with four guards. So, you know, I think that right now is a good time to look at my staff. And let's hire a couple more guards, so... That should speed things up quite a bit. We nearly doubled the amount of guards. I mean, technically, with 69 places to check and uh, 7 guards, that means that each guard has to check only 10 places. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Actually, wow, we have not found anything else other than these items right here, so it's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, drugs. Come on, it's nearly done. And... I we found more clubs and more knives, that's not good. But, you know, at least we found them. And I think this is, like, the first time I've ever actually done a shakedown. So, I'm doing pretty good for a uh, place that I normally don't check. Four more places, and then we're done, too. And, you know what? I'm going to... Just for old time's sake, let's put a sprinkler right here. Just randomly in the middle of there. Two in solitary confinement, one family's waiting to visit, two prisoners up for parole, two parole rooms. We are a go, so awesome. Anyway... 
I'm going to uh, stop this right now and say that um, we had a pretty successful shakedown. We haven't had any major escapees, at least, wink, wink, if you count the fact that uh, I restarted it after they... Uh, I did have a major escape attempt. That was just awful, though. Like, everybody decided to leave all at once. It was awful. And luckily for me, I didn't save it, so... That's cool, that's cool. Anyway, so we got all this stuff ready. I'm thinking that uh, next time we'll get started on building the area down here up. And getting that part built and figuring out what to do with this room and maybe even this room. So, that'll all be good. That'll all be good, I think. Anyway... So yeah, I'm going to call this it for today. Uh, thank you very, very much everyone for watching. Uh, special thanks to Dan Lover 10 for joining us in chat. Uh, have a wonderful day everybody. Thank you very, very much. Don't forget to check out my website www.kltechner.com and don't forget to uh, like my videos if, uh, you, if you think that they're good. That way I know to continue certain videos while not continuing others. Uh, thank you very, very much everyone. Have a wonderful day. Uh, bye. Bye-bye.